Yo, what's up guys, Naz UFC here. Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be playing someone who claims to have the best Charles Oliveira on UFC 5. And this player, he's a top 10 ranked player um, on the leaderboards. And he sent me this image, right, through PlayStation DMs. And, you know, he's, he's, he claims he's been submitting all these players left, right and center, right? And you can see he's got all wins here, you know, crazy resume, all title defenses. You know, he's got submission, submission, submission. And all these DNFs, he said, were well, submissions too. He's knocking out everyone. He's finishing his fights, right? Um, C.W. Iswood is a top five ranked player. So he submitted him, you know. He submitted, you know, Saba one sus. It says DNF here, but it was a submission. He's a top 50 player. He's actually, this guy's quite difficult to beat sometimes. You know, he can be quite cheesy. Rofa can be quite cheesy as well. So he's submitting him, uh, not Notorious y, uh, YG, he's usually a top 100 player. So, you know, he's got a crazy resume. You know, he's been he's been sending me, like, screenshots of pl good plays he's been beating for a while now. And he's finally challenged me to a set. But on his request, he wants to do a best of five, which means, you know, the first first of three wins. Um, So, yeah. So, last night, I gave him a little match, a little tester, just to see if if he was worth making content on. He beat me. He submitted me. So I was like, yo, you know what? This is great. You know, tomorrow I'll message him and we'll play. So he's, I'm pretty sure he sent me the invite. So we'll get right into it. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to pick Conor McGregor to start off with. I might pick Conor McGregor a few times. You know, I do like picking McGregor in this weight class, especially. He's going to go Charles Oliveira, of course. He's got nine wins on me, guys. He's got nine wins on me. I've got seven. We've played a lot on ranked, and you got to think, guys. I play on multiple accounts, so and he's got nine wins on me on this one. You know who God knows how many he's got on the other accounts. But um, yeah, I want to avenge my loss from last night. I know I didn't. I should have clipped it for you guys, but he um, he submitted me, and I was McGregor, so I'm trying to avenge that. One of the mistakes I made was headhunting in that fight, because um, Ron Ron he he. He wasted a lot of stamina, he wasted a lot of energy, and I noticed I could just attack his body and train him, and, you know, he's really stubborn. Even when I knocked him down, he was just surviving on the ground pound, so I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to play on the back foot here and attack his body. He's got tricky head movement like that, he's just an awkward player to play against, you know. You might, you might find it real difficult playing against him. He slips a lot, so I'm just going to launch these hooks. Like that. Oh, that didn't even land, but I'll take it. It cut him up, apparently. Kick his body. Beautiful. I like that. He's like moonwalking towards me. Fake slow, then slips. That's why I'm going to throw a lot more hooks and then set up some of those kicks to the body. But he is playing a bit different, guys, I have to admit. I don't know why he's not shooting his takedowns. Usually he goes for, like, double leg bells. Push him away just in case he tries clinching me. Elbow. Back steps. I think he was trying to do my little back step counter. I'll try set that up in a second. Bro, the, the shit. Body rock. Boom! Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that was that was a good knockout. So one nil me. I I want to know why he's not being an aggressor. Like usually he was shooting a lot of takedowns. So I'm just gonna message him and be like, bro. Why aren't you playing normal? Yeah, so I want I want him to go full out. Even if like some players might consider his style cheesy, I really don't care. Just be yourselves, you know. Do what you do to win your ranked fights. I don't give a shit. Do you know what I mean, like the stage is yours. Show me what you're capable of, you know. And that's what this is about. Don't try show off, guys. If you do challenge me to a fight. And, you know, your style might be disliked by people. That don't matter. Show me what you're capable of. You know, if if it requires you having to do a bunch of takedowns, I don't care. I really don't care. 
I'm not someone that complains, so. Unless you're spamming an actual exploit in the game, then that sucks. As long as you're you're doing anything that's part of the game, like takedowns, then I'm fine. But that's it. Guys, same game plan. I'm going to just try drain his stamina, you know, attack his body. Maintain that stamina advantage. That tip lands. He's backstepping. You've got to be careful we don't miss any of our tips. Because he'll just do that backstep overhand. The overhand's reach in this game, if you don't know. He's being patient, I like it. He's so good at setting up that slip hook, for real. Ooh, I was gonna... I literally dropped my guard there. Bit laggy. Not too bad. I am touching his body up quite a bit. I'm faking low, trying to get... Shoots. Takes my back. No! Oh, I got it, thank God. Push him away. Beautiful takedown defense. Spinny elbow, then throws a hook, lands on me. Oh, god damn it. I thought he was going to hit my face there. Pre denied that. I'm going to try to do some body damage here. We denied that. I think he tried going half guard. Undeniable. Nice. Let's try go for sub. Oh shit, that was way too slow. So, I mean, why not try go for a guillotine, drain a stam, and then, you know, if we can pull it off, we'll get top mount. I'm worried about his hooks. I know he's going to throw it any second now. I lost that exchange, but we've got the stamina advantage, guys. My head health's going low, so I don't want to be taking too much head damage. There you go, I cut him up with that. Teep lands. Body kick lands. Your stamina is draining, guys. Lag. Oh my god. I had a bro. I had a feeling he was going to go for a flying knee, but he faked it. I just had that weird, tingly feeling. But good round for me. Good round for me. I think attacking the body was the, probably the smartest thing I could have thought of. You know, training his stamina. Seems like the best play I can make here. I've scored one knockdown, so I won that round. But he's done some serious damage to my head, so I've just got to block my head and attack his body. Drain that stamina. And just let him gas himself out. I need to move back. Let him miss strikes. Let him fake a bunch of times. Look at that stamina advantage, guys. It's a five-round fight, so... That spinny body kick lands. Damn, tip he should have got me, if I'm being honest. I don't know how I won that exchange. If I was Ron Ron, I would stun my opponent and then go for a spear. <coughs> my bad. Go for a spear. Spinny elbow lands. Body kick lands. Oh my god. That one sent him to the ground.
Ooh, we tried it again, guys. If we can do a pull body shot and just land it on his... That was so slow. It's becoming a Muay Thai fight, guys. It's too close range. <laughs> Give me some space. There you go. Let's play from this range. That teep lands. His body health is getting lower and lower. His stamina is at 50% round two. Like 40, like 46% now. He shoots. What's he doing? Giving me a little hug. What? I tried to push him. Oh, what? Triple body shot. If it works, it works. That jab hook should do more damage. There you go. Lethal. Look at that body health, guys. And that stamina. All right, cool, guys. So one all going into this one, you know. Same sort of game plan. You know, he's going to be aware of my game plan now. Like, he's going to be defending this body a lot more. There you go. That's what I like to see. You know, him shooting for shit. I thought he was going to go for takedown. Let's try break out immediately. Beautiful. All right, I've got no business on the ground, so I'm trying to get back up. That was a mean counter he did last match. I can't lie. He backstepped the tee, but then threw a head kick. Oh, my God. Get up. Beautiful. Body kick. I tried to teep him there, but I'll take it. Damn, he... Whenever I get into a pool wall, I always expect them to go low every now and then, but he just went high then. Damn. Nice from him. Flying knee, I just block it. He's wasting a lot of his energy though. He's not like he's not waiting for a stamina to regenerate at all. He just comes in and throws. That's why I caught him there. Beautiful. He's been way too aggressive in this match. There you go. Body kick. Spinny elbow. Nice. Bro, these flying knees just go through everything. He's shooting. Damn it. Damn. I thought that'd be a fake, but I'm glad I denied that. It was pretty late denial from me. Get up, Lizzo. I've got no business on the ground, do you know what I mean? Like, watch this, guys. Oh my god, we baited him so hard. If we get this finished, we are the best. Oh my god, bro. I threw, bro, I threw that teep to bait him to throw that back step head kick, bro. He really thought he'd get it on me again, bro. That's probably got to be one of the smartest plays I've ever made, ever, ever, ever. But goddamn, so that makes it 2-1. I need to win one more fight, and that'll be the set complete. Beautiful setup. Look at that. Bing. All right, cool, guys. So it's the, the record is currently 2-1. I've got the lead. If I take this, the stats to set complete. But feed wins, we may be looking at another match here, guys. Still, I'm still tickling his body. He's caught that, you know, he's catching on. Takes my back, I defend that. Beautiful takedown defense. Every time you defend a takedown, you're going to drain your opponent's stamina. So, guys, oh shit. If he threw a head kick there, I would have been screwed. I need to stop throwing these teeps, for real. 
beautiful takedown defense. Oh, that was a good little sequence. He went for a takedown in a, in a pool counter war. I love that. Oh, I did not expect that. All right. Trip him up. Back on the feet. Some beautiful grappling here, guys. Nice little body. Whatever that kick's called. Scissor kick. Push him away. Does he get it? Yep. My God, this is all draining stamina. If you look at his stamina, it's just going down. I'm happy to sit here all day. Oh my God. Make sure we slam him. If he takes our back, slam him, because he will just go right into that very naked choke position. Fake, the move. Bro, that is way too slow, bro. Having Max G in this game is pointless. Oh my God, this is bad. All right, cool. We're screwed. So we're going to do one fake. At least one fake. He's got a bite on it. He's going to get the sub, I'll be real. But as long as we drain his stamina a little bit, we should be sound. All right, cool. Just make sure he doesn't pull another one off. Yeah, the only reason I drain the stamina is, is so I don't get one-shotted or he don't have stamina advantage going into the next submission. Defend the red naked choke. Yeah, that's, I'm, all I'm worried about is the choke and the arm boss. So if he, if you guys were ground and pounding, I'm fine. As long as he don't knock me out. I've got no block now. Okay. Shit, that goes on for a while, doesn't it? Cool, took a bit of damage, but at least we didn't get submitted. And guys, like I was saying, the reason, the reason, you know, when, when you're in a submission and you know you're fucked and you've, your opponent has a stamina advantage, do your best to try bring his stamina down before he goes for the sub, because at least that way you'll, you'll survive. You'll just take damage to the bar. He's slipping. He expects me to throw an uppercut. He sidestepped that flying knee. Push him away. I like. I don't like going behind that black line. On the floor there. I like what he's doing now. He's like, a, he's kneeing me to like build GA. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Beautiful defense. I'm getting worried. Every time I throw a teep, I feel like he's going to pull it, so I need to be careful. Not not pull it, backstep it. Good clinch attempt. Ooh, straight into a standing guillotine. I keep forgetting about these, but let's break out immediately. Because whenever someone goes for a standing guillotine, right, just break out immediately, bro. Doesn't always work, but it's always fast. How was that missed? <laughs> we defended that. Push him away. Push him away. Push him away. We've got the stamina advantage. Getting too close. Guys, remember what Chell Sonnen said? He can't let you get close. Damn it. We're using power get ups to get up. We've got the stamina advantage, so it don't matter. Beautiful. To a spinny elbow. He tried to backstep it. I see that. It's it's unfortunate because the spinny elbow is just so like lungy. You count from him. Damn it. 
armbar. Oh shit. I've got the stamina advantage. I'm gonna go for. I can just drain him if I'm being honest. Oh, he takes my back. Smart move. Takes top mount. There's 20 seconds left. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just worried about the posture up. That he's got no time to pull sub off. He went right for it. I respect it. He went for it again. <laughs> I expected him to posture up, so all I was worried about was the posture up there, hitting that top mount. But he tried to go for a sub with 10 seconds left. Fair play. <clears throat> we lost round one, but we won round two. You know, his stamina is going down and down. Come on. Why is it not breaking out? That just goes on forever. Damn it. Power get up using R1. It wastes our stand, but it don't matter. Beautiful. Push him away. What? How is he so close to me? Shit, that was too obvious. We got to throw. If you throw body uppercuts, you can slip immediately after. Shit, the body hooks don't let you. You see. We're getting a bit carried away here. Oh my god. It's the first time he's done that. On the triangle. Denied. Let's go here. Alright, so I don't want to go up because he'll do the arm triangle trap. So I'm going to go left. Deny that. Build some GA. Oh, what's going on? Bro, <laughs> I could not see what was going on there. He went mount. He's going to find it hard to submit me because he hasn't got... Oh my god. He hasn't got that, that permanent stamina advantage on me. So all I've got to do is one fake, right? So his stamina drains a bit. That was a fake. Bro! What is that, man? Bro, the, su the submission game so inconsistent because I'm. It's, bro, that's got that's got to be something to do with stats. Because I've drained his stamina to zero, and then I move, but he moved. He went for the sub at the same time as me, but won the submission, the transition race. That makes no sense. I thought the guy defending had a slightly faster transition. As far as I'm aware, I thought you know the person, the person defending had a faster transition than the armbar. Than the arm triangle submission itself, I'm... but apparently not. Perhaps I should have been a little bit patient and denied like that. That's just a mistake from me, guys. But we're going in again. Um, two wall. Whoever takes this last fight wins, guys. So here we go. I don't understand that though. I don't understand that. He's pushing me, I'll push him back. He slips a lot. That's one read I've made on him, so I've just got to throw these hooks. Come on, this takes forever. You can't break out like you used to. Defend that. What? Bro, I was holding down the triggers, like I'm so confused. Get back up. We've not got a stamina advantage. Not good. Fuck it. Did we just focus his head? I think we just go all out, guys, and just focus his head this time. He's going to think I'm going body anyways. Spinning elbow lands. He 
He doesn't do a lot of clinches, you know. It's more he's more a takedown double leg bail player. Moving sideways body kick. That would have been a good time to throw a jab hook. You know when their chin's in the air when they're throwing a sideways shot? That's where it does the most damage. Well, look at his head health. It's going down. He's got an orange icon. Boom. Jab hook is money. Beautiful. We throw that little kick just so we can like get some good timing on that dive. But he still up kick me. <clears throat> Teep him. Oh, he's right. He stayed on the ground. Smart. Damn. Oh, he was, he was trying to pull guard. Bro, you whiff so bad when you miss when you miss clinch attempts. You see that his arm was just in the air floating. Jab hook. Straight. Oh my god. Break the clinch with punches. Beautiful. Let's not get too aggressive now. He's got a cut on his face. Money. Shit, what the fuck? You keep slipping, that's one bad thing he's doing. So I'll show him mercy. That blood is getting gruel. Damn, damn. He should have went for a body shot. All right, cool. Guys, it looks like I'm going to win this set. I feel like he just he just went off script this match. Like He's doing what he did in fight one, where he's just trying to go for a knockout. He should have went for the sub. But that's on him, guys. Um, but yeah, I reckon we can get a doctor stoppage. I'm not going to try to get it, of course. I'm going to try to go for the knockout, but like... He's got, to, he's got to make sure he shows urgency and presses forward and shoots takedowns. That's the only way he's going to survive this. He's, he's got to worry about it. Look, there you go. He's got red icon. If if the if the referee steps in now, he's lost. There you go. That's what he's got to do here. I could look. He's, got, he's not supposed to be throwing those pushing kicks. Because if I step back, the referee will step in. I'm going to press forward. You can't move back. He's got to understand that. He's got to be the one that comes forward. I don't think he knows. Shooting for takedowns is good. The referee won't stop you then. Oh, shit. He's got to be careful. I don't punch him here. All right, cool. Bro, that missed. They nerfed it so hard. There you go. He's moving back again, guys. He's got to be careful. Right, cool. This is good, but he's got to make something off it. Because if the referee stands us up now, you know, he's screwed. If the referee stands us up and creates space, he's going to lose via Dr. Stoppage. So he better... He's got to let me stand up, or he's got to transition here, yeah, guys. Or he's got to let me transition. Come on, Ron, Ron. Don't beat yourself up. Let me stand. Oh, my God. I'm doing it for your sake. Oh, my God. He's going to lose. This was his mistake, and I hope he learns from it. Well, there you go. He's going to lose, guys. You know he's going to lose because the clock's disappeared. If the clock disappears, then you've lost. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. All right, cool, guys. That is it. That's the best of five between me and Ron Ron complete. To be fair, he's got a real good Olivero. Submitted me in the set. He submitted me last night. He submitted a good, a bunch of good rank players. So I can't lie, you do have a really good Charles Olivero. But unfortunately, I won this set today. Um, 
But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you did like it, drop a like. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.